I'm very excited about this video. I don't know if this is gonna be helpful or make any sense. Maybe you're watching it, maybe you're not. I mean, you are watching it. Well, here's what I'm gonna do. This, I'm gonna try to have a new series, put this in a playlist, I don't know if series, about finding bugs in open source projects and contributing and helping to fix those bugs. Like, how do we do that? And this is gonna be a hard, this is a high degree of difficulty one. So I'm not starting with something simple, and I, this will probably fail, but I'm gonna do my best. So I just did a whole uh, set of tutorials about WebGL and one of the, in P5, and one of the things I noticed with help from the viewing audience is that if I put two point lights in the scene, here's a point light that's red that's on the right side of the canvas, here's a point light that's blue that's on the left side, RGB, XYZ, and then I have a sphere with ambient material that will reflect that light, what do I actually see? I only see a blue light on the left. Now this is using P5 version 0.5.16. So, um, <clears throat> let's, just, let's just be sure about this. So I'm gonna take this point light and put it second. Now you can see only the red point light. What I want to see, and I'm gonna show you this really quickly, I'm gonna go to my index.html file, and I'm gonna switch, I'm gonna talk about how I'm doing this. I'm gonna switch versions of the library. This isn't working. This isn't working with version 0.5.7. So somewhere in between 0.5.7 and 0.5.16, this feature broke. This is, I feel like I want some like cool, oh, da -da -da -da, da -da, Pink Panther theme song music to play because we're gonna do some detective work now. How can we find this? So first of all, how did I switch between the libraries so quickly? So one thing you might notice about this particular bit of code, you can ignore this kittens folder, but I actually have the P5.js library here locally. And that is the current, the, the current as of the time of recording this video version of the library. And in this, and you can see here, in my HTML file, I'm referencing that particular local P5.js file. Now, it's now commented out. I could comment it back in. What I decided to do, what's really e much easier, is that I could use something called a CDN, which is, stands for Content Delivery Network. And if I search for CDN P5.js, what I'll get is this particular website, uh, cdnjs.com, and it has hosted versions of the library that I can reference in from my HTML file. And I can get the links for any old version. Now, one of the ways I'm gonna do this right now is I'm just gonna go here, I'm gonna put 16 in here. And I could just, we could do this all day, right? I'm gonna go back, sorry, to the sketch, hit refresh, it's broken. So I could say 0.15, still broken. 0.14, still, oh! It's working in 0.5.14. So for some reason I went all the way back to 0.5.7 when I was doing my session, but now I can see it actually works in 0.5.14. So what does this mean? Time for me to go to GitHub. So the P5.js project is an open source project on GitHub. It's a complex open source project with many files and many developer tools, like workflow like crazy things. There's some documentation that's pretty good. There's some documentation that could be better that we're working on that people are contributing to. But let's just go right now to the GitHub repository. So one of the things, this is the URL, github.com slash processing p5.js. Uh, one thing you should do is you should go click on contributors and just meditate for a minute and thank all these wonderful people who are putting in all these work. And, and I could say Karen, uh, just to highlight some people, Karen Pang, did a, uh, in terms of WebGL, Karen Pang, indefinite. Uh, and I think if we come down and, and find uh, also Kate Hollenbach uh, right here. And I don't know what Stalgia is. Oh, mind if Matthew did a lot of work in, yeah, here's a me, I am so me, a coding train viewer. So there's a lot of people on here that I'm, I'm, thank, I'm just referencing some of the people who have done a lot of that WebGL work. So something I could do now next is I could just go back here to commits. Now here's the thing. I can sit here and look and look and look and look and look and look and try to find it and look at, uh, look at dates and commits, but I, I kind of, there's gotta be a way I can search for where this particular commit happens. So let's go to, um, to try to search what happened with 0.5.15, let's go to releases. So we can see here's 0.5.16. 0.5.14, hey, where's 0.15? <laughs> That's weird. I don't know what I'm missing here. So normally you would think there'd be a 1.5 and, oh, yeah, anyway, I don't know. Maybe my mind, the math of my mind is just, so uh, we can see these are all the commits, 628 commits since this release. So we would think that in these commits, 
one of these uh, one of these would have broken that point light. Now, something that I could do, first of all, is I think an easier path towards finding this though might be, where is the source code for point light itself? Okay, that was a weird edit point if this video ever exists, but um, I went down many different rabbit holes to try to find the bug, and you might have seen some of that happening in what you watched up until now, but this was pretty, pretty much a case where I, my skill level, I cannot fix this bug. There's a couple of reasons. One, I don't have all day here, I gotta go have some dinner. <laughs> Two is, I don't really know how the WebGL system works. I wasn't one of the ones who designed it, and I won't be able to investigate that fully right now. Um, uh, and, and three, like this is a case where it wasn't like a small bit of code changed that broke that I could look at reverting. Over the summer, between versions 0.5.14 and 0.5.16, a lot of WebGL was kind of rewritten in, in structurally, so so much changed, and I think it's less a case of like this thing broke and more of WebGL was rewritten in a new way and some things aren't working anymore. So let's, let the next step could be filing a GitHub issue that's as helpful as possible. So let's do that together here in this video. So I'm gonna go back to the P5.js repository and I'm going to go to issues and I'm going to, first thing you should always do is I should look to see if there's already an issue. So I'm gonna search for point light Point light not working, that's October 9th. That's interesting, issue with positioning point lights. So this could actually be, <laughs> this could actually be our issue. Let's take a look. So this seems to be describing something different. And look, we should aspire to have such a well-written issue. Um, I guess point loot should use real world rather than a normalized direction like directional light. So this seems to be something different. This seems to be an issue with, and also this is using a previous version of P5. So I'm going to not worry about that. So this I don't think is our issue, although it might be related. And positioning point lights. So this I think is also a similar issue. And so this is probably worth referencing these two issues. Um, and then I just want to look at, um, so let me save this here. Let me save these two issues. And let me look, what else could I look for? Lights? Yeah, issues. So I don't think there's anything else related to the lights, so I th to this issue. So I think we can file an issue. So I'm going to write a new issue. Now, what I'm going to say um, multiple point lights or directional lights uh, not working. I don't know, maybe that's, I don't love this title. Maybe somebody can think of something better. Now this is helpful. Um, I'm going to, this can be, um, this, what, so this has like a helpful guide. So what I'm gonna do is instead of this, I'm gonna say, um, I'm gonna leave some of this in here. I'm gonna say, found a bug and the most appropriate area is WebGL, and which platform, so this is using a desktop, and P5.js version, we are using 0.5.16, web browser is uh, Chrome, and I'm going to say about Chrome, um, and I'm gonna put this in there. Be really diligent about this. Um, uh, and I'm gonna say operating system, Mac, Mac OS X, and my operating system is 10.11.6, 10.11.6. And now I'm going to take out these comments and I'm now I'm gonna describe how do I reproduce this bug? So. Um, the following code, uh, in the following simple example, which positions two point lights, one on the left, one on, on the right, only the last point 
light is uh, illuminated, is active, is seen, is, uh, I selected mobile, sorry, thank you. Uh, is, the platform is wrong, I got it, I got it. Um, the, is uh, one on the left, one on the right, only that is uh, activated, is active. So one, now I want to add some code. So one thing you can do is when you want to add a block of code, you add it in between these back ticks and you can actually say the language. And I can now go to the sketch, which is my code here. And I can, and, and I can get rid of this and just do this. So I'm going to add this here. So now I'm going to put this here. Um, the other thing I could do to be really kind of crazy is I could add some screenshots. So I'm going to say this is with the red light second. So now I'm going to go to, I'm, I'm overdoing it just for effect here, um, which, you know, that some of this may be unnecessary. So, um, so I'm going to take a little screenshot of this. And then I'm going to say, uh, and now I'm going to do the blue light second. And I'm going to do this. Uh, and I'm going to say, um, back to my issue, following, uh, with the red light second, i.e., uh, and I'm going to take these two here, and then I'm going to upload that image, that screenshot, which should be on the desktop of this one. And that's the red light second. With the blue light second, and I'm gonna take this screenshot, and I'm gonna put the code in there. Um, the, the, this uh, bug, appeared somewhere between 0 0.5.14 and 0 0.5.16. Using 0 0.5.14, the, you, um, both lights are active. So now I'm gonna go back to my code and I'm gonna switch to 0 0.5.14, which I think that's what I'm doing here. I'm gonna run the sketch again. Uh, <laughs> I have too many things open. And I'm going to screenshot this. And I'm going to add that to this issue. And then I'm going to grab this one and put this here. And I'm also going to write um, the same bug exists for directional light. Uh, uh, this may be related to, and then so I'm, I'm writing here, this may be related to, and so remember I had these issues, 2251, so I want to reference those other issues by their number, 2251, that's an issue that I think might be related, and uh, what's the other one, 1622. Um, then I'm going to say, this issue was filed by the viewers of the coding train live. Okay, so now the next thing I can do is I can check my work. So I can go over here to preview and we can see here, oops, so I've got some weird mistakes here, which is I got like some spaces here. Um, so I found a bug, WebGL, P5JS version, web browser operating system. In the following simple example, which positions two point lights, one on the left, one on the right, only the last point light is active. I don't like the way that sounds. Only the, uh, the, the, the second call to point light, the second call to point light overrides the first 
rather than adding a new light. That makes more sense, I think. So the second call to point light overrides the first rather than adding a new light. So here's the code with the red light second. Oh, these are huge, these images. That's fine though, I guess. Uh, and then uh, with the blue second light, this bug appeared using 0.5. Both lights are active. The same bug exists for directional light, and this may be related to this. Okay. <laughs> Calling all viewers. I think this issue is done. Um, does anybody have any suggestions, anything that I missed, or anything that would be helpful here? Adding a point light overwrites the previous one. Yeah. The second call to point light, and let's call that, uh, let's make this a function. And you can use a single backtick overwrites the first rather than adding a new light. So Austin is saying that I should have checked if the issue was closed and reported in a previous version too. I should. I'm too tired now. So uh, uh, please, if somebody finds something else that's relevant that it was open and closed, please add that as a comment to this issue. Um, only the final light source is rendered. Okay. I like that. Only final light source, point light, directional light, is rendered. Do we like this better? I think this might be better. Let's, let's use the camel case for these since they're the function names. Two, someone's saying there's a 2257 issue. Is that what I said already? One thing that I should mention that I should have also done a search for is that there have been 382 commits since October 11th and 0.5.16 is from October 11th. So one of these could have actually fixed it and I'm not going to see that fix. So I should search through also the closed issues. I couldn't find anything and a very kind viewer has actually checked that the current version of P5 even from GitHub that's not, that's newer than 0.5.16 um, isn't working. So I think this issue is ready to be filed. Now, I should do a follow-up video, somebody remind me of this, to show you how do you really check that. How do you build and use P5.js from the GitHub repository? So how do you have the most recent version that includes, includes fixes following the most recent release? That would be worth looking at at some point in this new series I have about how to work with open source projects on GitHub, hopefully better than I can do because I'm apparently not very good at this, but I'm trying my best. So let's go back to that issue, and I want somebody to close all my tabs. I definitely should. So our title, final title is, only the final light source, point light, directional light, is rendered. Um, and this is all the code. These are the different uh, screenshots. I think this is ready to go. I don't know about the title. I'm still not so sure about the title, but this is going to have to be, yeah, there isn't, there could be nightly bills. Oh, this is too much, too much going. We'll talk about this up in another video. Okay. Uh, Mathieu, if you can salvage this, you are a genius. Um, I'm going to submit this issue. This is very exciting. Oh, now I don't think you have the um, permissions to do this, but because I am an owner, of this repository, I can actually tag it with WebGL. So I'm going to do that. Um, and uh, I'm going to do submit. Yay! Woo! There's our issue! Yay! All right, thank you, everybody. <laughs> good night, good night, good night. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That went so well, just as I had imagined.